pumpkin patch was in its early stages. Now birds, squirrels, and other opportunistic parties were eyeing the seedling pumpkins from afar. And so for the protection of this hallowed ground, I acquired a very special guardian. My brand new U2's figure. It's a little Wellen Reaper wearing a rust-inspired hazmat suit. Aww. And the figure releases today, so go out and get one for yourself to protect your gaming setup, personal pumpkin patch, or whatever else you deem worthy. And if you want to see more updates on this year's pumpkin patch and get in on a giveaway, go follow my Instagram. But let's get into our tale. See, today's adventure, while it eventually took a darker turn, began innocuously when I saw an island in the distance. That's a real good island. Nice. Should we be islanders? All right, let's go. Driven on by the exciting proposition of an island conquest, I went to investigate this small strip of land off the coast. Cause I'm a island. Shut your goddamn ass up. So begins our swim. I'm a little bit sick at the moment, so my voice is kind of stuffed. I'm also gonna need a boat. All right, well, let's see what we're working. Oh, okay, okay. Looks like I'm not the only one who, uh, wants to do some island living. I began scouting the island, and it appeared that I was not the only one here. The wipe had been well over a week ago. Looks like we're not alone here. What is this, a one by two? Keep out or die. This is the aesthetic I want for the island. All right, let's get this stone note. This island was flush with resources. Trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. I then did a bit of farming to begin gearing up. Oh my god! Look Welcome at this herd. Back. I must cull this herd for their pelts. Their rich pelts. Guys, actually, there's more wood here than I thought, which is what she said. Another base? Oh, dude, that's like a bigger base, too, man. Well, you've got to work cut out for us. They might be raided. I next explored another abandoned or raided base. Oh, these boys raided, raided. No maidens. Beautiful art. This is looking very... Oh, goods. Love it. With a bow and tools crafted, I continued farming. Oh. Guys, I think I have some gamer goo on the bottom of my mouse. No loot, don't raid. Ah, okay. The nice thing is my island is nice and quiet. No one bothers me on my island. Oh my god! Bro, this deer wants all the smoke. Surviving off the land, I cooked some venison in a campfire. Fire into rock. Guys, this is what survival is all about. I am a survivor man right now. Just a dude with a deer helmet. I looted the lighthouse, surveyed the land, and did a bit of recycling as well. So probably what I'm gonna do, get a little one by one down. A few moments later, while constructing the layout of my potential boat base, disaster struck. So, how do I... No! Guys, no, 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 no. Oh, that was bad. I didn't know it now, but a pivotal encounter had just occurred. But determined to still thrive on this island, I respawned. I had enough metal frags and stuff to put a door down. Opportunity had flowered out of an unfortunate situation. I wouldn't be mad if this works. All right, you know what? All calculated. Let's go to the small island. Traveling from my initial island, I was confident. Guys, this is kind of a nice island, actually. That's a guy. Two guys. You know what? Okay. No! Okay, they don't know about the boat. The inhabitants of this other island were also quite unfriendly. Brenda. I respawned on my original island after my death at the hands of the bloodthirsty Brenda imposter. I just need like a touch of low grade. I next set up a sneaky storage box for now. Oh yeah. I'm probably just gonna swim back there, man. As night fell, I did a bit of looting at the lighthouse. I then stashed what I could and did a nighttime swim over to the smaller island to hopefully reclaim my boat. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, compensation for my troubles. After getting far more than I bargained for from some furnaces, I returned to my home island. <laughs> Moments after arriving, I saw another player. No, no, not again. I quickly stashed what I'd stolen and prepared to fight this other person. Oh, man. 
I just couldn't hit anything. Dwayne, I'd been missing shots. That fight had been winnable. At least I put my goods away. I was getting very frustrated. I just couldn't get a foothold on this server. I was ready to do anything to get ahead. No, please, please. Sorry, I shot at you with bow. You scared me. Hello. That's okay, man. That's okay. Now, the player who had just killed me was here and acting rather odd, just sort of standing around and talking in a daze. And I had enough materials to craft an Ioka pistol. Are you an island? Is this your home? Or where do you live? Uh, I don't live here. This would be big. Do you have tools or something I can start? I just need tools. Do you want this? Here, take this. I was feeling a bit cheeky, but I needed this. Guys, I feel bad. I'm sorry, I'm down really bad. I will give stuff back later. We needed this really bad, dude, I'm not gonna lie. He lives here. He lied! He does live on the island. I have to take over the island. Grabbing the resources I'd stashed, I swiftly built a base. He hates my guts forever, but I do want to pay him back. Like, I was saying a whole lot of nothing, doing a whole lot of nothing. Now, checking my combat log, I saw that the other player was named Mustache. I told him I felt guilty. See, I was thinking that he might have been a new player, so I wanted to at least give him one of his guns back. That's okay, because you made me learn that I need to be attentive. He did need to be attentive. I talked to him a bit in the in-game chat. I'll give him his MP5 back. I don't trust you now. Just come make it back. I next stashed everything but the MP5 I was gonna return and went out to meet him. Cause I do think this guy might be a good ally. Hello. After giving him his gun back, I offered some words of advice. He seemed genuine and perhaps even new to the game. Oh, okay. Got like a little personal bubble, like... I live at D12, but I got raids. Do you still have stuff? Not really. I then asked him about his backstory on the island. But you had MP5. Yeah, I got it from a drop. Damn, so you're down bad too, man. Do you want to make a team? If you want, okay. After some more chatting, I asked him to team with me. I wanted to help this player, and taking over the island would be easier with a friend. So, how we start? We next investigated the large raided base I'd seen earlier. We can just reclaim this. We do a TCN base, or...? Come down here real quick. Make sure you get authorization on the tool cupboard. And I'm determined to get a foothold with my new friend. I returned to my shack to get loot that we could put into our future shared vase. I wait you here. Can I take something in your box? Yeah, go ahead. Take this metal. First things first. Is this your sleeping bag? No, that's not mine. I'm solo. I secured the core of the raided base, and now we both had a well-fortified place to call home together. How oh, I put the code? I'm gonna write it on a note. Okay, okay. Now don't say it out loud, read it, write it down in real life. We're gonna need to put more doors so that we're safe. We next worked in unison farming resources in the island for our new base. Prime wheel. Very nice. And look for trees to farm. Bring everything you farmed home, put it in the tool cupboard, okay? We banked some loot, and I chatted with my new friend and speculated on his experience. Oh, is this your sleeping bag? Yeah, yeah, that, that's okay. mine, that's mine. Okay. You Do you have enough help? to make it back for you? Uh, yeah, I'm making one. I then did a few base upgrades and offered him some additional advice. I think he's very new. You should bring a gun, though, so that if we get in a fight, you can shoot, right? I have nothing. I died from a pig. So, do you know where you died? Honestly, I don't know how... Now, it turned out that my friend had died to a pig while he had his MP5, and that he was now unsure of the location since his death marker had reset. No, I don't... We went out to search for the MP5 as the sun was setting. Okay, let's see if we can find this gun. I'm gonna help you to search. Okay. There's a dead pig here. Wait, there's a small water bottle here. After a fruitless search, we went to recycle at the lighthouse. The, the fastest speed at which... Here, let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, put your... Yeah, nice, nice. There's... There's a guy to the west, uh, in a base. Oh, man. 
While running home, we'd been ambushed. I should have been more cautious and told my friend to put out his torch. And this was the same person who'd killed me while I'd been building earlier. Dealing with this guy is gonna be so annoying without guns. We're gonna have to- Bruh, he killed me. Yeah, we're gonna have to be careful, okay? This is what we're gonna do. We have to be sneaky. We have to play sneaky. While day was breaking, I went out to recon the base where I'd seen the light. Certainly this was the enemy player's home. Oh, he's bagging somebody. He probably thinks I'm gonna door camp. Now since the island would be tricky to farm with an armed enemy on it, I next set off to the mainland to gather some resources. I'm gonna find a road to run. Run it. Things were quite active on the main island. Gunshots were resounding in the distance. I hadn't been running for long when I got a weird message from my friend. What? Wait, what? He just said, thanks for the loot, shitter, and then logged out. Was this a betrayal? I wasn't sure. I imagined that there was a more innocent answer, so for now, I continued my journey. I will get to the bottom of this. He logged back on a few moments later. Sorry, I crash. What you said. He might have not realized he was in team. I think he might have been trying to type in general. I don't like that he said that. He died from barn. So maybe he started the fight with him. It appeared he'd been gloating that an aggressive player had been trying to kill him and he had meant to type in global chat and not team chat. An honest mistake. I then got another weird message from him. I was almost back to the island. I'd talk to him to figure this out. Did we get raided? What was it, two doors? What's going on? I think, I think we got raided. TC. All right, well. We'd been raided. Unfortunate. Then I got another, rather final message. Oh, man. Well, it appeared that perhaps he had simply grown frustrated and logged out. So I decided to take what I'd gathered on this mainland expedition and build a base around here. I could return to the island after securing a home. Hold. My enemy neighbor had cost me my base and a friend. All right. With my new base complete, I respawned on the island to investigate our old home that had been raided. You know, maybe I needed to leave the no loot, don't raid sign. Maybe that would have done it. I need a hammer. We're about to do some sleuthing. I'm about to actually do some real deep sleuthing. With a hammer crafted, I returned to the raided base to check something. No. Because the codes got changed. I examined the durability of the tiles surrounding the door. If this had been raided, they would have all taken a considerable amount of damage, but every single one was basically full health. The door was also in exactly the same spot I'd placed. If I sealed a raid, I would have put the door farther out to secure more space. This just wasn't adding Let's up. Let's go over this base. I next ran over to the unfriendly player on the island. Maybe I could talk to them and ask if they had done it. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Oh, hey. Oh, dude. They, he did? That's messed up. It was Dwayne. He was the teammate of Ursula, the other player on the island here, and he'd been pretending to be new. Then once I was gone, it incited me, changing the codes and lying that we had been raided. That's so messed up. That's so messed up, dude. There was even more to this story, but for now, I realized that I had been betrayed. See, I had been having fun messing around, casually playing, but this betrayal had changed something. Driven by my guilt of thinking that I'd taken a new player's loot, I'd been had for a fool. But now, I was on a warpath. These guys were done. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. You know what he did? He banked the MP5 that I gave back to him. But I wanted backup for this operation, so I messaged my friend Potato Kai and he hopped on to join me. Did they inside you? Yes. No. Yes. I took them under my wing. <laughs> that was fiend. <laughs> Our friend Dar would be coming in a few minutes as well, and then Reese also said he'd join me a bit later on. We would have a strong group to exact justice on these treasonous weasels that had betrayed me. So are we getting revenge? <laughs> yeah. Potato and I chatted as we began looting up for our mission. I'm on the server. Where am I going? You shall pay for your crimes, Weston. I'll bag you at the base. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I feel like... betrayed right <laughs> now, man. He just seemed so clueless and innocent. I don't know. If, maybe if I'd been paying a little closer attention, if I had just been like, thanks for the loot, idiot, none of this would have ever happened. I'd have two guns in a base. What and if he turned into your best friend? Exactly! <laughs> you gotta make yourself vulnerable. 
Sometimes. Sometimes. Only the strong can be vulnerable. That was deep. Hello there. We continued wandering around, gathering components together. We had a lot of preparations to make for this raid. Scary menace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Menacing man. <laughs> oh, one sec. Since I'm cooking in the oven, got a little smoky, the fire alarm went off. Like, it's amazing, bro. We're just gonna satchel raid then? Or do you wanna get tier two and then, like, do oil or I'm something? about to murder a man. I just murdered a man. I'm coming home. Dime shook him down, man. I killed Carlton <laughs> and shook him down. We actually can go tier two. A few moments later, Dar logged on to join us. Pretty sure I see well. Jumping? <laughs> Is there a yep. an aura hey, of flames <laughs> around me? <laughs> Nakita! The three of us now together, we wandered around a bit and soon found a fight. Two guys on me? I don't want that smoke. Ooh. Oh, that's a square. GG. Mm -hmm. oh, Why is he so mad? These players were quite toxic, and this was the same guy who'd killed me when I'd visited the other small island earlier. Good attempt, boys. That was a very valiant effort. Even come here. Back at base a bit later, we set down the tier two and crafted up some pythons. Reese then also logged on to join. Ah, greetings. It is a two by one. I believe you mean to say Chad Shack, sir. <laughs> greetings. Ah, greetings. greetings. Oh, Reese is kind of impoverished looking. Now, Potato would discover that the toxic guys who had just killed us lived in a base right next to the abandoned supermarket. So with our newly crafted pistols, we headed there to try to set up an ambush and take their guns. <laughs> Naked python, love. Of it. I mean, I oh, one of them by their base. Clothes. One of them by their base. Might be able to get on the roof here and do something. I was thinking that could be good. Uh, what I don't is know. he doing? Is he baiting us? That's gotta be a bait. Enemy spotted. Oh, Alright. You ready? Three, two, one. Once. Dead. Right, Reese, you should loot actually. There's two. On the roof? Just ditch with that gun. Oh, yeah, yeah, just ditch that thing. Welcome back. Go oh, back. I got tagged. I got tagged. Right? Oh, two of them out the base. Two of them out the base. They're pushing out. Once, twice on him. Oh, dead, 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 dead. I'm gonna try and grab that guy's gun. Okay. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Dead, dead, dead. Kill him with AK. Thank you. Oh. What? Else? Did you see that? So weird. We bested them in a fight and now regrouped at the bandit camp before taking a detour home. Dude, this is a cool bandit camp. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you don't usually see bandit camp with this many trees in it. Those guys were salty the whole time, too. Well, now we have the equipment. The goods. Go. We were a bit away from base when we saw more players. One's dead. I, I both dead. the other one. Do you think they live here? Yes, probably. I don't, I don't know. Oh, five explosives. All these oh, these guys, this is a lot. This is, this is them! It was Dwayne and Ursula, my nemeses. We'd taken a good loot haul from them here, but I was far from done. You did? I headshot full metal. I headshot tap. We, do, we can switch if you want. Now other well-armed players were approaching, so we next beat a hasty retreat to circle back home and bank. That was the guy that inside of you? Yup. That's hilarious. Uh, Back at home, Reese and I then did some base upgrades. Ooh, love right. this. Here, this is Reese design, love it. Over the night, we got into a fight with the group by the supermarket and got a couple more guns. Yeah, just loot me and scoop maybe. Then when morning came, we saw an airdrop falling in the distance. Oh, let's go oh, get that drop, let's go get the drop. It's close, it's close. Uh, this is the M2 base. Now, Dar had seen some players here shooting an M249 off their roof. I'm near drop, I don't see anyone yet. Oh, naked underneath it. Hell in. I'm dead, I'm dead, but he's to hit. A bunch. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah. I ran back as they continued fighting. I'm almost dead, I'm five and yep, I'm dead. He's full dead, he's full dead. I don't run here. Oh, oh M2, no. M2. Ground here? Oh, yep, got eight guys, got eight guys. Where is their loot? 
There's more on potato. Well, and here you go. Uh -huh. Oh no, there's oh. a there's a bow guy. Is there a four X? Bow guy hit. I'll see if I can. Yeah, get yeah. It. He's he's yeah, in I'll, roof I again. For you. We literally have cover back. Here. Close. Hit him once. He's naked LR scope. Yeah. With our meds and ammo starting to run low, we backtracked away from the base. Well, we're blicked up now, boys. The guns will come. Oh, up on the hill. Oh, oh, oh. There's just a bow guy. Oh, good. Oh, good. I, oh, good. 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 I went to shoot him. And I, like, I jumped in the way. <laughs> I was trying to take a bullet <laughs> for that guy, man. <laughs> like, no. Get down, Mr. President. We quickly banked, crafted meds, and then returned to double down on loot. Oh, they I might know I might... where we live, guys. And I, already killed I hit once. naked. Who might be yeah. LR? Yeah. Oh, he's is is he? He is LR or Tommy. I can't tell. I don't get his down. Oh, nice. That is pretty ungettable, though. Here, you want to take my stuff and I'll go for it? After dropping my gear, I made an audacious push to go grab the gun from the naked we'd killed under direct fire from the M249 tower. Right, he's gonna go yeah, for it, I think, when he realizes me. I'm right here. Yeah, I'm watching. Come here, little doggy. Jesus Christ. He's in the roof, roof, roof. Hit him, hit him. I'm dipping, boys. They're playing like how uh, back in the day you'd call it Overwatch. <laughs> That's what we used to call it. <laughs> Do you remember that, Reese? Oh, God, dude. <laughs> One guy on the ground, another roof camping, and we called it Overwatch. <laughs> Dead. He had a gun. After reminiscing a little bit, we ran home. Yeah, Maybe same guy. Did. Now over the next little while, we farmed wood, killed some scientists at the military base for components, and even shook down some hapless players for loot. Provide your loot, <laughs> and you can escape with your life. Thank you. I found a telephone, guys, so don't worry, we're we're fine. Damn, we can call to find some of the rest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go to- <laughs> Have some potatoes, dude. Come on. It was some time later when the guy from the M249 shooting tower who we had killed and taken loot from was lingering near our base, but not for necessarily nefarious reasons. See, I had game chat turned off, but Reese and Dar were talking to him over text and said that this player was impressed by our daring and our fighting abilities, so he had a bit of a proposition. Better. I feel like he's a careful player, too, the way the- But I mean, that's a rust thing. People yeah, people do give it away. It is true. Yeah, I've done that. True. He said that his group was planning to get off the server soon, and that they had an enemy who lived nearby, and they wanted to hire us as a sort of hit squad. So Dar went over to their base to talk to him over voice. I mean, he seems genuine about giving the base, because I see him out there by his base, and he's talking to me. Now, they were telling Dar that the group they wanted to raid had been killing them, and that they didn't want to fail a raid against them because they couldn't take a loss like that, especially after all the trash talk between them. And they were getting ready to leave the server, but they still wanted to get back at them. So he really just said, I'm not going to use these rockets. I want them to be used. Oh, is he crap, there? Bro. Here, let me come talk to him. I want to yeah. hear what he has to say. So he told Dar to explain that we had a raid to do first. If they wanted us to hit their enemies, we needed to hit ours. I next geared down and respawned over there to talk face to face with them. I will see what he has to say. Alright, I'm almost there. Hey. Uh, oh, is there any, um, uh, turret I need to be worried about? No, there's not No. Okay. No. No. Okay. They're off. No, they're off. Sweet, thanks. Oh my god, this is this is a lot in here. You guys are having a wild time in here. You guys are just yeah, straight yeah. up leaving the server or something? Yeah, we're just gonna go. Yes. We do want to raid. They are L13, but we just... Now they told us that they respected our aggression and pushing every fight. That's why they said they were willing to do this. This was certainly a very strange situation, but never one to shy away from something like this. I agreed to their terms. Yeah, it's not... It's down here, two small boxes. They had a substantial amount of explosives in here. They said that if we didn't want to do the hit, that they were simply going to despawn these explosives. That way, if their enemies raided them, that they would get nothing. Rather taken aback at this huge infusion of explosives, and the fact that they were so trusting that we would uphold our end of the bargain, I filled my inventory. They said they're going to despawn. Now, they likely saw this as a clever bet. See, I was happy to take out their enemy for them, and with all of this, I could take out my traitorous foe as well. It seemed to me like they didn't want to deal with the embarrassment that a loss versus their enemy would entail, so by distancing themselves from the raid, they couldn't lose. And after I dealt with the player who had betrayed me, this hit was the price I had to pay for vengeance. Just a big group. Just a big group. Oh shit, yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that happens. We said our parting words and left their base laden with booms. Go raid L13. It's like a really big group. Feels so weird running up to the base that was m me earlier. First on the menu was the traders on the island, then a quick raid on the toxic group by the supermarket, and finally, the big group that these guys wanted gone. 
Our work was cut out for us. Certainly one of the more odd scenarios I've encountered in a while, but hey. Now back at base, we discussed our raid plan. It's probably too much, but at the same time, we could just pummel straight through it. Yeah. With a lot of rockets, a few C4, and some explosive ammo, we were gonna crack open the side of the trader's base. Let's just go, let's do okay, this. Okay, yeah, thing. yeah, let's just go. I agree. Oh my god, okay. Oh. Armed with everything we needed for the raid, we took a moment to prepare ourselves at the barn safe zone just across the channel from the island. It is kind of full circle, though. At my lowest, I was punished, and then just when we started going, the world was given to me. The world. I like it. Damn, my my home is decaying, man. I used to live there, dude. Someone had left a small boat here. We were gonna use it to quickly cross. Is there a low grade in it? No. Nope. Just go straight across. All aboard. Get down to business. As we neared the base, it was a bit larger than I remembered. But we had more than enough to smash them. We're back, and we're ready for <laughs> revenge. Good one. So someone brought the launcher, right? Right? Oh, nope, it's back to base. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wasn't sure if Ursula and Dwayne, my enemies, were around. So wasting no time, we got started. The pummel it, right? Unless, it's, unless it's not. It might be the way up. It's stone. Yep. Right, right there, yeah. I'm gonna reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I believe, core. Thanks. No marker. What should we do? One. Oh, perfect. How low is it? I can explode ammo it. Just rock it in there when it's done. We're good. That'll do TC. Yoink! We'd quickly blasted to the core and there was a lot in here. Do we seal? Uh, yeah, sure. I slapped a tool cupboard down and we quickly got to work securing the base for ourselves. Uh, but no sign of my foes. <laughs> well, we got all oh. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay. Hold we'll it. Dead. Come up. So I, no, I, I base gun lol. I, 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 <laughs> I was certainly feeling quite vindicated with this raid, especially thinking back to the messages that they had sent me. Yes. Why do you have to be mad? Oh, he's mad. They were quite upset by the sound of it. Now this is where things got interesting. See, I was playing in streamer mode, which assigns everyone a randomized name. And I was asking why Dwayne had insided me, and I used his real name from earlier. But they were saying that they didn't recognize that name. So what had happened is when he had logged out, he changed his name to make it seem like he was someone else. Despicable. Wait, they tried to change I their name? they tried oh. to change their name. Yeah. Wow, so they're trying to act like they did these dweebs, dude. Right? After a brief respite, we loaded up with loot and headed back to the mainland. They were online to see it and everything. Now we needed to finish the wet work we promised we'd do for our rocket-rich benefactors. Dude, I am fresh. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh. That was... a good thing he missed everything. Jesus. <laughs> I like we should no, no. I'm about to end this man's life. With a brief fight won, we went home and banked. Now over the next few minutes, as we prepared for the large raid on the enemy group at L13, we did a quick raid on the toxic group by the abandoned supermarket. Dropping. Oh, We're in name. We're in name. This raid turned out to be far easier than we expected, and we looted it without incident. Yeah, it did. We then killed a couple players roaming around our base and soon turned our focus to preparing for the large raid that we had promised to do. I wanted to successfully finish this job. I'd given them my word. Aww. We next made some base upgrades. With our final preparations complete, it was time to move out. Make sure you get for food and stuff. Reese also had to log out, so we would be three. Oh, Jenkins. We need to have good cover for yeah. the rocketers. He's oh, up there with okay. Tommy. Yep. What, well, on? Yep. Okay, I think we're in a long range 
Let's see Bach get Pummel it. After placing our open air bed respawns, we got right to work. Nice shot, dead. Nice, 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 nice. Both dead, both dead. Start pummeling, nice. start pummeling. Okay. We just gotta pummel. Uh, okay. We have plenty for the. You see Reg's shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get second. Let's just hit it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break these wooden barricades. We're gonna AK them on flank, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I think those are. He's in roof, in roof, in roof, in roof. Dead. Okay. Nice. Keep it up. I see core going in. One, I think Dar stays. I think Dar stays. With the external walls broken, we pushed into the comp. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just like that. Danger here is inside. Danger here is Dar gets beamed. I'm spooked about them taking the close. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice. Great. We'd exposed an armored wall. Hopefully, this was the core. Uh, oh! Are we good? Healing? I killed MP5. I'm coming a high call. Okay. I'm coming Come in here coming. with us, Dar. Yeah. Come in here with I, us. I, I, I. Yeah, that, that high call, exactly. Yeah. I'm reloading my potato. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah, case are gonna be close. One was right, second floor. second floor. Okay. Like, Careful. where? Second floor? Behind that armored door. Behind that armored door. Second this floor. is it. We got core open, TC. Yep. Blasting. We'd broken the tool cupboard. We needed to seal this quickly now. Uh, no, nothing for more. I'm looking for wood. Can we seal it? TC crafting. Oh! Is that AK out there? There were counter raiders. I built and locked up the core of the base. Our tool cupboard was safe. They're fighting out there. Yeah, they're getting jumped. Right. It was nighttime now. I got the loot all in our little safe haven inside. We're gonna put a door here, and then we're gonna have like a little area that's safe. So you're right outside the garage. Oh, yeah, I'll just I'll just throw them all on the ground in here, so we can figure it out. Jesus, these guys were loaded on yeah, sulfur. Yeah, were loaded. I'm just gonna spend some time and start boxing all this loot here. There were enemies circling, hoping to take advantage of the raid. Okay. Just lit, really lit, three times. Potato had been tossing loot into boxes he placed while Dar locked down the outside. Killed one, I think. If he's alive, I would be flabbergasted at that. Not that is a juicy box right there. Are you still moving loot in there? Because there's so much on the ground. There was a massive amount of loot in here. We then heard from someone we hadn't expected to be back. Thanks for keeping your promise. Thanks for keeping your promise. Hell yeah, man. We had to. It was the player from the group who had hired us to raid these guys, thanking us for keeping our word. With his enemies now dealt with, it seemed like he had really been the winner here after all, and without lifting a finger. Now with the arrival of morning, the counter raiders had disappeared. We were ready to head home with our loot. I got super into that online. I was all about it. Yeah, and I mean that <laughs> was the that was the price of our justice raid too. He did come up to the front and say thanks for keeping your word. Yeah, he yeah. did say thanks. Yeah. Yeah. We each filled our inventories and took off back to base. That was, was wild. Quick, it was a quick raid for sure. Utterly slang out. Our home was now chock full of loot, but that hadn't been my goal today. I'd simply wanted a revenge on the turncoat player who'd inside raided me. I'd accomplished that, and the cost had been a hit on another team. I had no further need for this loot, so there was one thing that I had left to do. Should we go find a naked to give this loot to? Oh, I'm so down. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's give it away. It. Let's do give it. Give away now. I'm going to suss like them out beach. very thoroughly first. We are right next to Spawn Beach. I'll go to where I spawn. This is Spawn Beach, though. This is definitely Spawn Beach. Oh, I found a man. A man? Oh, he's, he's somewhat geared. Hey, hey, you. Hey, hey you. Man. Man. Hello. Want some stuff? Want some stuff? Hello. Who's this guy? Come talk to my friend. Hello, are you there? Can he's you hear us? The server? How are you, oh, man? Yolo. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> Hello. Yes, hello. hello. Yeah. Bro, do you come with us? Come with us, man. We're gonna give you something. Would you like all right? to come, know great come, come. wealth? Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's yes. go. After running around for a little bit, we'd found quite the character. Do you have a base? Uh, yeah, but it's a small base. So how long have you been on the server? I just downloaded this game, like oh maybe like a like couple hours ago. I, I used to play on Xbox, but I decided just to download it on here because it, it seemed more fun. This player was new to Rust on PC, but had been on console prior. You will become a man of wealth. Thank you. The moment that I heard the mic, I knew he was the, the chosen one. It seemed like we'd found an excellent recipient for our fortune. Join our team. All right, you're going to be team leader, okay? Okay, okay. All right, here, slap on a code. 
This is a nice Thank you, it's our baby. Put a code in there. Any code. Look at it, hold E. Hold E, look at it. Five minutes later. Yeah, okay. There you go, alright, now lock it. Now you gotta lock it. Now you gotta lock you it. You gotta lock it. Locking it is so important. If it's green, it's not locked. A few minutes later. Yes! Alright. There you go, man. We let him into our base and gave him code access. Is he just going through one door at a time? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's- we have like a little bit of loot. Bruh. Mikasa Sukasa, you know? Can you do us one big Full favor? Spray. Full spray! Can you murder us all, please? Are you sure? Do it! Yeah. Do it! Now kill us! Kill us! <laughs> Do it. <laughs> kill me? Why did you only kill me? Alright, no, isn't me. it an honor? <laughs> Bye. 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 We did it. <laughs> From the downtrodden despair of betrayal to the triumphs of conquest, and now finally returning all we had gained to a new friend, today had truly come full circle. I hope you enjoyed the video. My new official Rust YouTube's figure just dropped, so go check it out. The link is below in the description. Also, I'm live streaming on my Twitch, so come hang out and say hi. And make sure to go follow my Instagram and my thumbnail artist too. This has been your friend Wellen at the conclusion of a very satisfying tale. I'll see you next time. up in the right mind wishing that someone would throw a lifeline god in my energy got the right kind